Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we are going to talk about related versus related table function in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will talk about what is related function. After that I will clear the conception regarding the related table function and in the end I will tell you how to write text expression with each of them and where are they used. Now let's go forward and talk about what is related table. So related table work as a lookup and for it to work there must be a relationship between the two tables. Related goes from the many side of relationship to the one side of relationship. That means if we have a star schema and we have a main fact table and that is linked to the dimension table the related function always work for the fact table because we that is actually the many side of relationship while the dimension table is only the one side of relationship now let's go forward and talk about what is related table function so the related table function is also a table function like related or related table requires a relationship between the two tables Related table goes from the one side of relationship to the many side. As it goes to the many side, it is unable to return in a single value, but instead it return a table of values. The table of value that it return can be based on filters. That means if we have an example, like I have given the example earlier in the related function, if we have a fact table and a dimension table related table function will work on the dimension table not on the fact table because it will it goes from the one side of relationship to many side and in the return when you do that you won't able to see a single value but instead it will show you a table of values i will tell you and clear this conception by using an example in power bi desktop in data model interface now let's go to the power bi desktop itself we are in power bi desktop in data model interface if you want to understand more about this interface you can go to my previous video and see how does this interface works now in this interface we have a three view first is report view in which you will do a visualization second is data and third is model so now let's get back to the question of this video about related versus related table function now before going any further i have told you there should be a relationship between these two table otherwise the related and related table function won't work so that is the basic query and basic point in it now if i go in a model view you will see there is a relationship so that's the thing first thing that is happening now we can use the related and related table function now let's go to the data where we can use this function now if i go in here this is a fact table so in here which function will work kind of reminder yeah you are going right yes it's a related function so if i introduce a new column i will tell you how to write an expression for it so just click on a new column the new column will be entered in our uh, table within a few seconds now you can see the new column has been entered in our uh, table now we have to type the dex expression for it now just delete everything like i want to know the first name of first name first name sale so i will type equal to after that space so this is a column name you can easily change the name from here also but i'm just writing it there so it's a reminder for me after that write related and now it will show you a function just put in in here now i will use the product name that is english product name because in here you this you if you see this is a fact population table that is fact table i want to take something from the product table like the product table has the product name but in the fact 
internet sales there is no product name so i want to fetch that from there so that can be only done using related function then i put on tab so that will be selected after that shift zero bracket is closed then i put on enter so it will take a few seconds to fetch everything from the dimension table now you will see the new column will be entered in our uh, table which is fact table uh, that is from the column that is from the dimension table if i go and scroll it uh, there now you will see the first table name now you can see the first name has been entered which is fetched from the dimension table this is how the related table function works so this is a uh, story mistake it's a related function because it is from if you see it's from the many to one this is like i have told you about the introduction of the uh, related and related table the related always work from many to one that means always it works on fact if want to fetch from the dimension table now i want to fetch something from the fact table into dimension table so how can i do that so again i will go into the data again in spite of the fact i will select the dimension product now now i have uh, dimension product table now I want to fetch something like uh, sales we can fetch right so in that case I will introduce a new column first after that uh, the new column will be entered in our table now you can see the column now again I will backspace it and have to write sales again I put on enter again note up enter that's a space and again equal to again space now you will go related table if i put on uh, like fact internet sale because that is only the thing you can do again just put on tab again just close and enter if i do that you will see there is some error in our sales now you can see the error big why why the error is there because the expression refers to multiple columns multiple column cannot be converted to a scalar value that means this cannot this related table cannot function alone as an expression it can be used within an expression to express itself but it cannot be expressed in itself because if we go into the model you will see the dimension is just one and this is too many that's why one too many won't work because i have told you earlier that we have to check in within our data that what thing that we can fetch from and that is not possible from the fact internet sale now we have to go back in our data and again uh, in front of it related table we will use in front of related table i will type count rows function so the table is here i will close it here and if i enter on it now you will see the changes in it now you will see the sales figure that is available to us so it will be available within a second so now you see there are not much thing that is available in here because every thing is not sailed if i scroll down you will see there are some expression that is available in here like road 150 red 44 is got sold and road 650 red 58 is sold so this is how you know that the thing works but this is the related table that is why it is written within the expression of count rows like i just counted the rows how much they got sale if i go in my model you will see internet sale so in here if i go again in my internet sales you will see what are the sales actually each product key has a sale sale order sale now i don't know in my dimension product that which product is actually sold so if i go in here and count the rows for everything every product sold so we will see that 19 red 650 red 58 is sold but there is no sale for red 450 and red 44 with the standard cost is color red status is null which is from the start date and product alternate key product key is available so you know this is how your related 
function works so if again i will show you sale so this is the thing how it works so i hope you have understood that if you want to relate use related table you have to use it within certain other expression then only it works in my case i will use i have used a count rows function so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries have been cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section and we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day